Former Arkansas Governor and Presidential Candidate Asa Hutchinson is now back in the natural state. And while he may be out of the race, he is still watching it closely. Today, Hutchinson sat down with THB 11 Sarah Hobakowitz explaining his decision to drop out and what he saw on the campaign trail and why he's endorsing Nikki Haley. After eight years as the governor of Arkansas and recently ending a near year long campaign to be the nation's next president, Asa Hutchinson is back home. There's no other race like that not governor, not senator, you're running for president of the United States. But he's not staying far from the campaign trail. Just days after dropping out, he's now endorsing his former competitor, Nikki Haley. She outpolled me, she outperformed, and so uh, obviously uh, she's got a lot of support out there. And so I shift directions and say, she's the best option that we have for our country right now. Hutchinson has been a vocal critic of former President Donald Trump, but beyond that, he doesn't want to see a rematch of 2020. It speaks poorly of the two major political parties that we're giving America what they don't want. And we'll see if that changes, but that's the risk to the political parties and to our political system. People are going to be frustrated. Uh, they'll stay home with that kind of a rematch. And he's not alone. According to a December poll, most U.S. adults overall would be dissatisfied with Biden as the Democratic presidential nominee. And a similar majority would be dissatisfied with Trump getting chosen for the GOP. Do you think there needs to be a change to the political system? Uh, the two-party system is ingrained into America. But there can be a lot of lessons learned. And... Uh, the young people came up to me and they said, what hope do we have when this is what we see? Where's our voice? And so uh, we need to give them better opportunities and choices. And while he's no longer campaigning to be the commander in chief, Hutchinson is reflecting on the lessons learned this past year. Obviously, the tough message I had didn't resonate in Iowa, but probably my primary thought is, one, what an incredible experience I've had and I think it was good for America, it was certainly good for me. Uh, and then secondly, the regret would be that uh, I'm not in that battle later on. Overall, Hutchinson hopes whoever makes it on the final ballot pushes for more respect in politics and for one another. We've had times of division, the civil rights era and the Vietnam War, uh, but we've had leaders that tried to bridge the gap and bring people together. And regretfully today, we have leaders that capitalize on division, that they divide further rather than trying to bring people together. Reporting in Little Rock, Sarah Horvakowitz, THV 11 News. And on what's next for the former governor, Hutchinson told Sarah he would consider another job in politics, but he's taking some time off right now. And as for working with Ambassador Haley down the line, he didn't rule it out. If you'd like to watch this full interview, we've got it right now on THV 11.com.